what's up guys welcome back to the channel I'm Jess thanks for clicking on today's video you're watching keto rewind welcome 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 so first things first if you are new here and you want to see all about my keto journey don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications um, and then also if you want to give me a like that helps my message get out to as many people as I can um, and the next thing is I'm not a medical doctor not a healthcare professional this entire channel Keto Rewind is based on my own experience losing 130 pounds with a ketogenic lifestyle and intermittent fasting. You do you, do your own research, talk to your own doctor. Okay, so let's hop in today's video. Today is week 104 of my keto transformation or my keto journey and I had one heck of a week. I am very proud of the work I put in last week. I took the toolbox challenge very seriously and quite quick side note, part two or whatever the next one is, I think it's either two or three, is going to be posted tomorrow. So stay tuned for the part, the next part of the toolbox series. And I love seeing each and every one of you sharing pictures of your toolbox, commenting below with what you're putting in your toolbox, your positive affirmations. That is so cool that so many people are taking this part of the journey seriously. So kudos to you. So anyway, so today we are going to talk about my week. I was all over the place. So we're going to talk about the easy stuff first. First things, let's go through the exercise. I returned to the gym last week. What's up guys? I am, it's currently Friday and I've been going back to the gym. So for the first time in a year, I'm actually in a gym. <laughs> um, so anyways, let me show you. We have good old LA Fitness here. The nice thing about going to the gym this time of year, there's nobody there. <laughs> so um, you have like your pick of the machines, so you do have to wear a mask, but hey, all that matters is you're moving your body. So anyways, I'm gonna go get my workout in. I'm proud of myself for making it five days in a row. Everything is sore, <laughs> so, but anyway, so I'm gonna get my workout in and I'll see you later. I have not been in a physical gym since March, I think last year when everything shut down. So I, and, and mind you, the gym has been open here for a long time. I mean, probably since summer. It was only closed for a short time. So I was a little weirded out about going back to the gym, but I got over that and you know what? I am so, I regret not going back sooner. I forgot how much I craved the, Going to the gym as part of my routine, um, working on my muscles, toning up, and that just overall feeling when I leave the gym, um, that hour of me time. And for those that you are new here, I focus on weight training when I'm at the gym. I don't do any cardio at the gym. I literally just use the machines and free weights, um, like the you know, like the I think they're called Nautilus machines, resistance machines, whatever. The cool thing about walking outdoors is you never know what you're going to run into. And Kyle and I ran into a coyote yesterday. So I'm going to insert a picture. Um, I, I am someone who really loves wildlife and this was just one coyote. So I was so excited that I'm trying to pull my, my phone out of my pocket and I'm fumbling it. And by the time I got a picture, you know, the coyote had taken off. Like we spooked the coyote and he just ran away from us. But I did try to get these pictures. Uh, but that was really cool. And I would not have seen the coyote had I not gone for a walk. So it's just a little reward when you make that little extra effort sometimes. You never know what kind of form it's going to come into. So I like to go for walks and that's, that's just how I operate that's how that what that's what works for me if you enjoy doing a treadmill do the treadmill don't do what i'm doing just because i'm walking outdoors but i will i will say i do focus on building lean muscle mass that's one of my jams it's why i feel my body looks like it does because i have maintained that muscle um, i'm not skinny fat you know what i mean i am i still have my muscle and i lost fat I didn't lose muscle. <laughs> so, um, but anyways, I enjoyed going back to the gym. It felt amazing. So in addition to that, I walked some serious miles last week. I was working through stuff emotionally and that was, I had stress, which is always part of life, lots of stress. So I walked 32 miles with Kyle last week, just last week. Um, so that is about a solid, an hour or two out of my day every day last week that I spent exercising and that felt wonderful so um, 
I also want to add that I hopped on the scale obviously last week after not weighing myself for months and I was 204. So I'm trying to like own everything again. So I started weighing daily and that was, this is why I don't weigh daily because it's crazy. So I, you know, I started a new routine. I'm doing weightlifting and a lot of like a heavy exercise regimen plus keto, obviously. So I hop on the scale and the scale shoots up four pounds like day two. I'm like, oh my God. So and then it stayed, I was up four pounds all week until Saturday. And then all of a sudden I had a swoosh and it went, it's gone and vanished. And you know, so I went back to 204. So I'm, I'm like, whoa, <laughs> this is, this is why I don't weigh myself every week. Cause I was looking at, uh, 209, uh, I mean, 208 pounds all week. And that was like, not the direction that we're supposed to be going here, especially walking 32 miles, going to the gym five days a week. I'm like, oh my God. So then I was like, you know what? think about this every time i've ever returned to the gym i've always been up a few pounds it's part of your body just doing that adjustment it goes away and had i not weighed every day i wouldn't have even noticed the uptick on the scale because i was still 204 by and i weighed in today 204 so i didn't actually gain anything but that illusion of that i gained really messes with your head so lesson learned, we're going back to once a day weighing, uh, I'm sorry, once a week weighing because I can't, I can't see that and I can't get so hung up on that number because it's a natural response for your body to go up a little bit, starting something new, specifically weight training. So anyways, then I, I got back, I got, I got my head back on straight and realized what was going on here. Good to go. So I'm feeling great. Minus the weight on the scale, I see my body turning back to what it was before I went off track. Um, like, you know, my tone, my face, my arms, every, my pants fitting better, you know, that kind of thing, just trimming back down. So that made me feel really good this week and I'm very happy <laughs> um, about that. So one other thing, because I was in like the crisis mode, seeing the scale go up, I decided to, I hadn't changed my macros in forever. I let the thing do its automatic thing um, but now that I know what my body fat percentage is and a few other things, I was like, you know what? It's time to recalculate those back row macros. Let's get back to basics. So I don't want to say just yet what I did, but I changed this up around Thursday last week and I did a difference, a change in my macro percentages just because I, to make up for the, a lot of the physical activity that I was doing. So I don't want to tell you yet where I adjusted the numbers, but after I made that adjustment, that's when the scale shot back down. So it could have been coincidence, or it could be that I changed my macros enough and logged my food that I'm owning what I'm doing, and I can now see clearly I was probably overeating, in the, well, I should say, I definitely had been overeating all through the holidays. So like when you think about it, after you log your food down and you see how much you actually eat in a day and you're honest, you can see obviously where things might be going wrong. So, but I was so good last week and had the weight gain. I'm like, oh my, <laughs> you know, so like, if, but if you're not tracking and you're not paying attention to all this stuff, it can seem like everything's working against you. But you have to sometimes take a step back and go back to basics. And now you gotta recalculate macros, stop weighing every week, just do one weigh in. And you, you know, you think about the stress I'd have taken out of my life. If I just would have recalculated my macros on Monday, last Monday, and never weighed myself all week and continued on, like I'd be in a much, I would have been in a much less stressful state last week. Cause I'm like, Sh shoot. I'm supposed to be losing weight here, not gaining, you know, like, and that just adds more on top of everything. So, and then plus, I, I can't under, I, you know, plus I was upset to walk that many miles in a week to gain weight, you know? So it's like, it just messes with your head and it's just noise. You have to tune that all out. Point being, I adjusted my macros and we're gonna test out some new numbers, new levels for me and see how that works. So I'm gonna have a full week of that this week. Um, so after I see my results, I'll probably share next week what I did. Um, but I don't want to share it until I know it's working or it didn't work or something like that, you know. So stay tuned. I'll let you know. But I did mess with my macros quite a bit. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. But let me say this. There's, it's still keto. So, <laughs> but what I'm doing differently 
might make sense and it might be what I'm needing because right now I feel like I'm living in such restriction which make is making me want to rebel and that makes my the the pendulum really swing it's either I'm really on or I'm really off you know like there's no happy medium or happy middle so I just literally added the things I want to do in my macros so we'll see I don't know um it could be a, another dead end. It could be something that I mind, finally figured out worked for me. So, because I feel like now that I'm approaching that last 24 pounds I have to lose, things get different. You know, it's different than when I started my journey at 309 pounds. The way I ate, the way I behaved, all that was very different back then. I'm, you know, looking at me now almost two years later, my two year keto anniversary is this week. So, I mean, there's a lot of change that happened since two years ago. So, but the point that I want to drive home, it's okay to adjust your sales. It's okay to find out what doesn't work from you. That doesn't mean it's a failure. It's only a failure if you decide to quit. As long as you're not quitting, you're still in the game and you're still winning. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Move your body, track those macros, and don't give up. I'll see you next week. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow with the toolbox video. Bye-bye. I'm Jess. You're watching Keto Rewind.